It even smells like Christmas. Hey, divas, welcome back. This is JD Diva, and it's time for another beer review. Divas, welcome back. I'm so excited to bring you something awesome this Christmas. Wait till you see this. This is fresh from Belgium. It is Duchess de Bourgogne. It is chocolate cherry special ale. This is coming to us at, let's see here, 6.8 ABV. And this is a Flanders Red that is made with Belgian cherries and chocolate. Let's get that popped open. And let's give this a pour. Ah, look at that great color. You know, just by the color alone, I'm thinking, that can't taste anything like chocolate. But cherry? Oh! Definitely. Oh, let me get my branding here around. Sorry about that. Look at that great color. Great ruby red. Wonderful. Even the head on this. What is that, like a two finger head, tightly impacted bubbles, it has a pink uh, tint to it. So pretty, so festive for the holidays. And it smells like Christmas. This smells really good. It has the, the predominant cherry flavor that you come to know and expect from Duchess, from a Flanders Red, but also, you're getting just a little, little underlayment for, of the chocolate. Kind of a cordial, chocolate cherry cordial kind of a flavor, or aroma to it. Smells really good. Head's dissipating now. Let's go in for the taste. Ooh, boy. <laughs> Don't let the name fool you. This is nothing like a milk stout, nothing like a chocolate cherry that Ameri flavor that Americans would be used to. Definitely you're drinking a Flanders Red. Still has a full-on sour tartness of the cherries right there at the forefront, coming all the way back. Ooh, what a zing. So delicious, so fresh. Well carbonated, has a really nice medium body to it. Um, chuggable in the bodiness of it, but not so much with the tartness of it. Due to the tartness of it, you want to linger and uh, take your time with it. Now on the back side, you are getting a hint of that chocolate. So chocolate in the cherry, Yes, but not an over predominantly chocolate flavor to it. Definitely the king of the castle here, or the duchess of the castle, is the cherry flavor. It's really enjoyable. Really nice flavor. Just a hint, just a hint of the chocolate. Just as you're getting like the whiff on through the aroma, you're just getting just a light sense of chocolatiness uh, to the, to the uh, flavor as well. Now I could go with more of a, like a heavier chocolate flavor in this. I think that would be really awesome to have like a true chocolate cherry flavor to it. This is definitely tart cherry with a little bit of chocolate essence in there. Um, so it's kind of a nice mix up, very enjoyable. This is great. This is be a, a good for, uh, I don't know, maybe dessert. You know, if you want something a little bit tart for dessert after dinner, you'll hit the sweet spot, but then it'll also be something um, refreshing and enjoyable. Oh man, I'm liking it. Good coloration, nice body, nice lacing on the glass there, nice head um, creation and the retention. You know, that head is still there. Overall, very nice. And watching the legs fall down from that uh, lacing, not bad. Not bad at all. Mmm. Let me show you the bottle art. 
Duchess Burgonia, chocolate, cherry. Great colorations on the label there too, adding some red and green uh, that they don't normally add or use during their, uh, their normal uh, labeling. <laughs> I've seen if I had a bottle over here to show you, compare the two. Don't know if I showed the bottle cap or not. Here we go. Pretty cool. That's a uh, Verhage. I don't know how to pronounce it. Verhage, their brewing company there. Ah, good stuff. Anyways, you know what? I want to take a moment and say thank you to all my viewers. Thanksgiving has just passed. I appreciate you all. Cheers to hol cheers to the holidays and cheers to the new year, which is what I started to say. And cheers to you. Thank you for sticking with me. And uh, you know what? We have more great things to come. So stay tuned and prost. <laughs>